just say hey guys hey guys there you go. <laughs> okay hold on hey guys hey guys um, we just got to lancaster we're gonna spend the weekend here <laughs> hey guys we just got to lancaster and we're gonna spend the weekend here um we left at 6 30 and now it's raining and we don't have the appropriate clothes on so we're gonna get changed in the car go poop and then we're gonna start some shopping and eating i already pooped <clears throat> she's gonna poop yeah and she's got poopery poopery yeah and so. wipes diaper wipes so my wife thought that she was recording, but she was just taking pictures. These first two pictures, those are dog treats that look like jerky. I wanted to eat them, she wouldn't let me. The next picture is we went to Shady Maple for lunch and it was pretty good. Oh my goodness. Things I never knew I needed. Wow. LGBTQ king. Yeah. <laughs> We just left the Disney store and bought some more Disney Christmas ornaments, which I'm really excited about. And now um, he told me, my husband told me to close my eyes and I don't know where we're going, but it's a 15 minute drive from here. And so it's 15. just 15. Okay, I think it sounds like you said 50. No, 15. And I don't know. I really don't know where we're going. <laughs> Uh, keep going because so, <laughs> walmart is closer than 15 out. minutes away so i don't know where it is but we're gonna be <sighs> surprised oh <laughs> <laughs> we're driving so i'm gonna guess where we're going i already guessed well i think i don't think it can be walmart i guess right there i guessed costco but i don't think it's there which by the way i want to go to costco but she said oh uh, yeah, but anything we buy at Costco, we're gonna have to freeze. And I look like I look so cringe with my hat backwards. She said I looked cute. I looked like an idiot. Anyway, I don't know what else I like. Um, there's uh, Applebee's. There's like, are we going to that oh. donut place we already went to for my mom? What That's place? by Costco. Coffee. Oh, I, she thinks I would remember something from a year ago. Am I gonna get a new pair of shoes? We do need to get. Is there a Croc store? There's a croc store, but I think we're passing it. Oh, there's a croc store. I'll put it on the list. We go to the croc store after this. Um, My wife is spoiled. Like, I spent so much money already. Holy shit. Are we going to Dutch Wonderland? What is Dutch Wonderland? Oh my goodness. What is Dutch Wonderland? It's an amusement park that we're going to literally wow. drive by right now. Why would I bring you to it? I'm grumpy. It looks interesting, but do you ever think that it's like worth it going in there? Yeah, we're going to go in there in the future right. and get a pretzel. All right. We're almost there. We got three minutes. We're a minute away. A <laughs> minute. I really don't know where. Oh, we're at a mall. So okay. That's cool. I wanted to find like a local mall and walk around a little bit. So that's part of the surprise, even if the specific. Are you are you shitting my balls right now? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna light my the oh my god I'm gonna light my on fire, bro. Come on. <laughs> Fuck this pussy, bro. I don't have a stop sign. It's like, oh, let's stop for the guy with a stop sign. I don't respect people. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. I forgot where it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop you off so you don't have to walk in the rain, baby love. No, it's okay. All right, so we're at the mall, and what's interesting is, like, we're in Pennsylvania and the Amish country. I thought it was weird. And we just went, we were at the mall, so we see, like, young Mennonite girls. That's what they're called, right? Mennonite, probably. And I guess they do, like, a Sweet 16 kind of a thing where they go and experience the world. What is it called? Rome Springer, I believe. Okay, that's was ridiculous. But anyway, um... So see, it's it's weird because like back when I was a little younger, you know, we used to be a little bit of a player myself. I wonder if these young men are just playing these fucking rum spinkers, and like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, imagine. 
Could you imagine one of these young guys is like, oh, you know, I love you so much, uh, Rose Tilda, or whatever the fuck these assholes Rose Tilda. But, okay. That's a nice name. So, from my understanding, though, like, Mennonite people are, like, they're, like, they're more, like, involved in, like, regular societal things than, like, Amish people. Amish people are totally, like, not. They look like geese. But. With the hat, the bonnet on. But, like, you Mennonite know? people, like, they are involved in regular society. But it's Amish people, I believe, that do rum spring out. And that's when they're, like, 17. Like, they leave <clears> and <throat> they go. Like, they don't, like, be Amish outside of, like, their group. Like, they, like, yeah, join one the, society. One of these guys, one of these, well, the girl has a Nike shirt. It's just bizarre. She got a Nike shirt on with a goose hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we saw this Funko. And it looks like this redheaded... Um, mullet girl from TikTok. Here's the surprise. <laughs> we just got at the mall, um, and now we're heading to dinner. So my wife decided that she uh, was too ashamed of all the food that we ate. So we're just going to show you a picture. I didn't have four plates of food and then two plates of dessert. And um, no, I'm not diabetic. What? And we're here. Look at that booty. <laughs> Go ahead. Look, she looks ridiculous. Perfect, baby love. There we go. I got it wrong the first time, guys. I'm barely filming. We're gonna get a duck. Okay. 75 cents. That's wild. This better be played till you freaking win, boy. Send it. Damn. 75, 75 cents for nothing. These are usually play till you win. Mm mm. Can I go for that first right there? Bro, I'll oh, shit. It. We got it. Wow. Lame. I have to sit back here because the bed started flipping when I sat on the edge of it. Hey everyone, we're gonna do a haul of most of the things that we bought today. Go ahead. <laughs> so first we have this beautiful t-shirt, which we have a clip I think earlier, which you might have seen, but here's the full thing. There's a lovely unicorn with a rainbow and castles. Yep. He got some sugar-free chocolate. Well, it says sugar-free chocolate, but frankly, I don't think they know what sugar-free is. I think they just mean no sugar added. We got okra chips. So good. Oh my god, I forgot we got donuts. We got green bean chips. We got, like, regular... Uh, I'll show you one day. More okra. Regular veggie chips. And then we also got a little treat. We got two donuts. These are, this is from Shady Maple. These are the best donuts you'll ever have in your fucking life. My surprise was we went to the mall. So the first thing we saw that we bought that I was really excited about was a new lounge fly from the Walmart oh, store. Yeah, yeah. And I'll have to give like a close up to this later, but basically this is a stormtrooper, I yeah. think. And she's but never like, really watched Star Wars, but she loves Star Wars stuff. I don't understand. Well, my that. husband likes Star Wars, and yeah, I love right. it. But in like the visor or sunglasses, whatever, it's like yeah, the character. Yeah, like, look at that. Look, you see the, you see the girl, the right? Girl. She did a lot of drugs, and, and there's the guy. Okay, Han Solo. And then, as he also said earlier, we got some sexy undies. So. Here's some Harry Potter underwear from Toy. You want to try them on? No. Let me, let me try them on. No. I'm going to shake my booty for the camera. Nah. And we They're also... She's denying your show, guys. We also got... I'm trying not to show, like, the whole undies. We got some Mulan yep. undies as well. So that's from Torrid. And then, when we were walking along, I saw that there's a Lush, which is like my favorite store. And we got, this is a Dragon's Egg Bath Bomb. Very yeah, excited. You put it in your ass. It smells very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I put, you put the bath bombs in your ass. So you better get ready for this <laughs> big old bath bomb. Did a good job Look at the that. size of this. So it's a Mario bath bomb, but it's like a surprise. I don't know if you get a surprise out or something. I don't want to see them. Here's the paper. I'm already involved from the grocery store. But there's six different things inside this big ass bath bomb that you could get. One is ice flower, fire flower, blue mushroom soap, red mushroom soap, a star soap, or a coin soap. 
So what I'm guessing is that it's like in something and like the bath bomb will bath bomb Whoa. the way it usually does. <laughs> and then we'll have something inside. Main event for my husband, mystery bags from Boxland. You know, what's interesting is that we're at Boxland and there was another lady there. She wasn't bad, but she was a little loud. Was loud and obnoxious. Oh, she wasn't that bad. But we got the mystery box. We got one Disney one and then one anime one. And she's like, oh, she saw that we got the anime one. <clears throat> so she went to look for her own and she's like, oh, they got the last one. Like, really loud. I'm like, how She was like, you got the last two anime ones. I know she was kidding a little bit, but like, it's like, I don't know how to respond. I was so awkward. I didn't know what to say. I was like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, well, I was just kidding. I was like, I know. Like, uh. <laughs> well, it was funny. He was actually like, actually, one's Disney, but. Uh, actually, like, actually you know, I also bought two ornaments from the Disney store, but I uh, we'll lost find them. them. <laughs> uh, yeah. But here's the thing, <coughs> anime is cool and all, but we're probably gonna give all this away after her, so this woman, we should just give it to her. Damn. Because like, I just wanna open it. So let's see everything that I'm not gonna use. You got the anime. Ah, oh, I have a, a young um, Asian man from Juju Kaisen, who's have seen that before. Um, uh, maybe I'll have to watch it, he's a weird fan. Okay. Then we have a Hunter, oh actually this is kinda nice. Oh, this is a Hunter Hunter, kitchen set. I kind of like That's this. That's nice. We'll use this. She wants to watch Hunter Hunter. And by the way, it's not called Hunter x Hunter, guys. Okay. So we got it's this. It's a it's an oven mitt. And then it's like a... You oh, know, a dish cloth. Dish cloth. And then like a little... Uh, you grab... What you do is you grab a whole pizza with this and you get it covered <laughs> in tomato sauce. And then you put it back in on the shelf and your wife goes, what are you doing? <laughs> Pro tip. Um, and there's a My Hero Academia... Fanny, fanny pack. pack. This is actually not a bad mystery. Well, pack. I mean, there's no, there's, a, there's the pack, but there's no fanny part here, guys. There's no string. Maybe it's I have a. I to buy um, my own fanny. No, I think this might be a cosmetic bag. The fuck does that mean? Like when you travel, you could put like your. Oh, and that's actually kind of cool because I'm gonna put my meds in it. Yeah. Uh, this is actually cringe as fuck. Okay, guys. Well, this is actually a decent buy. I'll use most of this. No, I have a Disney one. Got but it. Sorry. I, I flinched. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. This is actually cool. Okay. Okay, we have a mystery princess pin. Oh, it's Aladdin, but whatever. Oh, okay. It's racist. Oh, this is actually cool. Well, you can't be racist though, because your your mom's married to a, a guy from Aladdin. It's not really. But... Hey, it's Aladdin doing the. He's doing the finger pose. And then we got a Lady in the Tramp notebook. That's cute. A Tony's restaurant, and it has like all these little bookmarks. I'm the lady, and my wife's the tramp. <laughs> and then Encanto in, in um, note tab, sticky oh. note tab. Yeah, okay, that's something. I'm not, you know, it was a good movie, but the hype makes it me not like it, you know? And then a Hocus Pocus notebook. Oh, you hate you hate this. Uh, I I do. I don't like the cartoon version. She doesn't like the cartoon versions, but honestly, R thirty four, not bad. If oh you think my about god. It. She especially fucking bingle toad over here. She's hot as fuck. Who is this? Wanda. Winifred. What? I was a a W for Winifred. Am I right, guys? Who's the other one? Who's the blonde? The horse one. Sarah. Sarah Jessica Parker. What's her name in the show? Sarah. 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 From like the eighteen hundreds, he named her fucking kid Sarah. Yeah. Okay, what's the other one's name? Mary. Yeah, I, this this is a fucking Winifred makes sense. Everything else makes no goddamn sense. This is ridiculous. But so that's what we bought today. Yep, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Bye guys. It. Bye guys. I mean the purple. Look at that thing. Oh, it's a handsome. Oh, look, there's one in the water. Yeah. He doesn't have a purple, but he has a nice green head. Good morning. What's up? Good morning. Here's the reason we come to Lancaster. Fried chicken and Miller smorgasbord. Round two, and husband is already digging in. Eating his fried chicken. Miller's has oatmeal pie, and it is like the best thing you'll ever fucking eat. So I was just watching a podcast where they were talking about what people called these when they were younger. What did you used to call those juices? Um, I shove them on my ass. I used to call them bug juice. Oh yeah, I don't... What did you call them? I don't know, juice. Alright. They've been spotted. There's more bins than I thought there was. I'm looking for the purple fuzzy cow. Look at him. 
No. <laughs> no, that's an axolotl. This is cool as hell. You don't want this one? No. It's more like an axolotl, am I right? <laughs> Bin one and two were unsuccessful. So now we have three and four. What the hell is that? <laughs> is what is it? Show it. Oh. I don't think I like <laughs> I don't think I like it. That some thing? little kid is going to take that home and it's going to be tainted. <laughs> Wait, what is that that you just put your hand on? This? Yeah, what is that? Oh my god. I, I like hate it, but I kind of love it. My husband bought me all the Care Bear little things for Valentine's Day, but we couldn't find the green. And we secured it. We gotta go to Pennsylvania for it. <laughs> I wanna get your genuine reaction to this toy. What is it? I don't understand. It's a gas pump on fire. No, it's not. It's a welder. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking son. I love you, bro. He's a welder, baby. I thought it was a gas pump on fire. <laughs> okay. Let's take oh, up. I crashed. Every single one of these wild west things, somebody took the, 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 the ammunition out of it. Except back here, like, this row has it. And somebody, like, legitimately just cut it. Okay? And then, move up five feet back. Look at this whole thing. These are supposed to be squeezable, see? It says squeeze me, right? Somebody took all the squeeze balls out of the bottoms of this. Like out of the whole thing. The entire thing. thing. There's not a single one. There's squeeze ball. And then look over there, there's a camera. So, good job, Walmart. I'm gonna play my game while you ask this question. What's my up? question is, do you think as a couple, we would survive if we got stranded on a... Uh, is it called a desert island? I mean, I I think it's. Like Is that what it's called? Deserted, yeah, deserted. Like, oh, if we were if we were on a deserted a desert island, we would die. We'd die. Oh, <laughs> we would fucking survive. Um, no, I would die. I'm diabetic. What is it called? Why does that sound wrong? A desert island? Is that what it's called? I'm diabetic, so like, I wouldn't survive. Um, but you mean a deserted island? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> will we survive though? Um, I feel like if if there was a rescue team, I feel like we might survive. Well, okay. So first of all, we're pretty we're big. We're so we have we wouldn't need to eat as much as other people, right? We would want to eat more, but we have a maybe little bit we of, should. Get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that being said, I'm also like an Eagle Scout, so like I know how I know that probably I'm probably better than most people. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so like yeah sure. I feel like because they I was just watching like this little clip of like this couple who makes videos and they were talking about everything they did yeah. over the year and they like played a game where um they like asked questions and like wrote their answers on a whiteboard which okay. maybe we should do something like that but their question was would we survive on a desert island and both their answers were no but I was just thinking how yeah, I think we could survive. I mean, if there was like a fucking surplus of like bears and fucking well, lions and shit trying to eat us, I don't think that. But like, I, think we, I know you said you never watched Lost, but I feel like I could survive in Lost minus the monster. Yeah, I get it. Like yeah? It's just a normal island where it's just like there's nothing there but fishes and crabs. Hell yeah. Yo, crabs are vicious though. They might eat us. They eat dead bodies. Good. No, well, that would be, that might not be too bad. But yeah, so that's all I was wondering is if you think we'd survive. I think we would. Yeah. High five. Very Boom. nice. We're doing a hotel tour. <laughs> As previously seen is a beautiful Fulton Steamboat Inn that looks like a boat. And it has a nice little playground area for the kitties. No children under 10 are allowed on the playground. Guess I'll have to be her daddy today. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Look, she's stuck. <laughs> Go ahead. Over here, there's gazebos and there's chairs down there and a big ass pond with ducks. And when you're here, like in the warmer weather, I guess, they like do fires and you could ask for marshmallows to roast them. Wow. I've never seen a pond or ducks or a gazebo before. I know. It's exciting. Respect our wildlife. Please do not throw anything or anybody into the koi pond. Oh, uh, you know. 
that must be from me because I was thinking of throwing her in there. You know what's silly is that this is passenger photo spot and that icon, now I know why Instagram icon looks the way it does. I know You're it's so stupid. You're not serious, right? Why? What the hell? There's a cat! I'm gonna go fuck it. What? Gotta, I'm gonna go make a friend. Cat! That was a duck sound. Alright, here are the ducks. My wife's gonna go say hi to them. Yeah, they're I think nice. They're a little couple. Yeah. They've been together all day. Yeah, but if you look closely, they're they're a mixed couple. This does look like it would be a wonderful tiny home, though. Go ahead, baby. As you'll see, our hotel is a whole ass boat, which is cool as fuck. That end is the pool. That's like the front, and there's a restaurant, and it just looks like a whole boat. It's really cute. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to show the bathroom, but there's all of our shit all over the room. But it's cute. I stayed here a few months ago, and I now find that they have all of the same artwork on the walls. And fun fact, uh, that painting my Grammy has in her house, so it freaks me out. Here's the bathroom. Nothing crazy. Shower. Mirror. Also, travel tip. Best Christmas present I bought my husband was this big ass water bottle. It holds, I think a gallon, like 16 cups of liquid. And we get this so we don't have to waste money buying waters when we're away. Hi everyone. It's my birthday. It's his birthday, 33. Um, and it's about to be 11.30. We are on our way home. We stopped at Wawa. Got some coffee and very messy quesadillas. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way home and our Lancaster trip was lots of fun. We we like coming here a lot. We came here, this was our first trip as a couple. Then we came here for our mini moon after we got married. Yeah. Uh, we came November to celebrate our one year wedding anniversary. And then we just came here because I've been wanting to come here. I was craving Miller's and we well, had time to get away. We came here because I got banned. And I was upset. <laughs> I had nothing else I could do. So we're like, yeah, we might as well go. I don't know. It would, it would turn out pretty good, though. You know, I guess the band wasn't all bad. Uh, no, it was a good trip. It was really nice. And we have some, you know, we're definitely going to come back in the future. And we have some ideas for what we want to do. But for now, driving home, probably going to get some Chick-fil-A on the way. Yeah, those, those grilled nuggets are good. I'm going to get more of those. That's going to be my bad boy food choice from now on is instead because i'll usually go to mcdonald's and get something but they don't have grilled anymore so i'm gonna get like a grilled chicken from chick-fil-a yep but yeah so there's our pennsylvania trip yeah yeah, yeah. i'm gonna go on to this exit bye, bye. bye. Oh, there's the spice i thought it was hot as fuck it's a little warm it was watery. I just like the setup we have going Oof, on here. Shit. <laughs> it's spicy, boy. Just do that. Baby, stop. <laughs>